begin the rebuild. The first thing we're going to do is apply the Velcro strips to the frames. Note the position of the Velcro in the back. Next we take a longer piece of Velcro and we start applying the Velcro right against the edge of the plastic wall aligning with the edge of where the frame ends. Next take a spoon, push that adhesive right into the frame making sure that you don't stretch the Velcro because the Velcro does have a memory and it will go back to the where it was. Butt the end of the Velcro strip into that plastic protrusion and follow the contour of the plastic where it meets the bottom part of the frame. Take the spoon and smooth the Velcro so that there's direct contact with the plastic frame all along the whole length of the Velcro. Next, snip off the extra Velcro with your utility knife. We are now going to install the buckles. You will need your rivet gun for this step. The buckle assembly is made up of a buckle, a dog tag, rivet, and backup washer. Place your rivet into your rivet gun. Thread the rivet through one of the holes on the leather dog tag. Now take the other end of the dog tag and thread it through the female end of the buckle, making sure the two black dots on the back of the buckle Now you are ready to apply the buckle assembly to the plastic frame. Insert the rivet, leather dog tag, and buckle through its proper hole in the frame. Place a backup washer on the inside through the rivet and attach. Notice the back of the female end of the buckle has the two dots. You want those dots to end up facing the plastic frame. Now you are ready to apply the buckle assembly to the plastic frame. Insert the rivet, the leather dog tag, and buckle through its proper hole in the frame. Yep. Notice that there is a natural curve to the insert. This will be the top side of the insert. Take the insert and center it over the plastic frame. You will notice that the frame and the insert have seven matching sets of holes. These are your wire tie holes. Starting at the top, which is the narrow end up, take one of your 14 ties and insert it through the outside of the pad and through the lower of the two top holes. Take the end of the tie and thread it through the top inside hole and through the top side. Notice that the wire ties are not being pulled down 100% at this point. They're just snugged up enough so that the insert stays to the frame.
been installed, and now what we're going to do is check for alignment. Make sure that the insert is centered within the frame of the knee pad. Once everything is centered, we're going to start to pull down the wire ties to the 100%, starting with the bottom one.